Hi, my name is Eran, and you can learn, make and create together with me in Adobe Photoshop. Today, I'm going to show you how you can edit a portrait step by step using some actions. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Photoshop and as you can see this portrait is looking amazing but before we start retouching this portrait make sure to check all the links down in the description because you'll find the raw file I'm sorry you can find the raw file because I bought this from the Povilas Vakitis but I will put the link down in the description you can contact him and you can get this raw file and also about the retouching actions you can uh, get them from my gumroad account link is in the description so let's just get started as you can see as i said this portrait is looking amazing uh, but we are going to make some changes here and there so first thing first uh, we have to clean this portrait and for cleaning we are going to use three different tools pot healing brush tool healing brush tool and patch tool and as you can see i made them with shortcuts j k and l so i can switch uh, between them three tools easy when i'm uh, working or when I'm cleaning so let's just get started so click here on clean and click play wait until it's done and as you can see we have the clean layer that says clean here and the spot healing brush tool is automatically selected I'm gonna turn on the black white tab layer because I don't need that right now I'm gonna zoom in where I want to start cleaning and as you can see usually I start cleaning in the forehead so here we have the spot healing brush tool as the first tool to start with in this amazing video tutorial so as I said, uh, you have to check all the links down in the description because you will find the retouching actions. And recently I made them with a discount for the Christmas. So hurry up and get them actions before the discount code for the 50% ends uh, by the end of this month. So let's just keep cleaning this portrait. As you can see this portrait, uh, this girl has a lot of freckles and we don't want to destroy them because uh, they're natural and they're looking amazing. So make sure that you clean this portrait in the beginning so we don't have two in the frequency separation. If you are new to the channel and uh, you are just starting to re uh, into retouching, make sure that you get all things started for example uh, you know the basics about the photoshop because this uh, video tutorial is not for the beginners because uh, some things are like are not hard to explain but uh, this uh, video tutorial is more for the people that are into retouching i do have some uh, video tutorials for the beginners so go check out my channel and you will find a lot of video tutorials where I show step-by-step -step, uh, process for everything so here we are as you can see here before and after what we've done so far with the cleaning and now that we are done uh, it's time for the frequency separation so I'm just gonna merge them the clean and the background right click and click merge layers so here's the before and after and go to the figure separation and click play open the figure separation group and as you can see we have the color and the texture so we are going to work uh, in the color first and after we are done with the color it uh, will be working in the texture so turn off the texture right now and click here on the mixer brush the right settings for mixer brush is 10 percent of the wet load by 45 mix by 33 and flow by 45 oops sorry zoom in where you want to start uh, mi uh, mixing the skin tones with the highlights and colors and everything else so i'm gonna start here in the forehead but as i said in the beginning this portrait has freckles so uh, make sure that you don't work a lot of in the portrait because uh, you will ruin the originality of this portrait so be careful especially with the models that has freckles because we don't want to destroy them so here's before and after and as you can see uh, it was kind of too much you can zoom in here and you can see uh, the freckles are like 
going away, but uh, we'll put some freckles, uh, some fake freckles with the brushes. Uh, but before uh, we continue with the uh, uh, texture and everything else, as you can see, we have some kind of too much red color. So I'm going to remove this red color. I'm going to click here and click Hue Saturations and click here on the reds because they have we have the red color or you can do it like this you can just click here to make the sample and uh, whatever the color that is there uh, it will be selected so we have the reds and I'm gonna slide this into the right and make the reds kind of into the yellow tones just like that and I think that they are okay as you can see we have the red color gone and every, everywhere but, but we don't want that so I'm gonna put the layer mask into the black just like that with a brush 10% opacity of the brush 100% of the flow I'm just gonna paint here on the forehead where I want to remove that too much red color that is here on the forehead so you have to do it uh, carefully because we don't want to destroy the red color that is for example on the cheeks or under the eyes which is kind of pink magenta something like that so here's a before and after and i think it's okay but we kind of need to work just a little more here check a before and after again and i think it's looking okay but i'm gonna reduce it just a little and i'm gonna remove the color uh sorry the red color that is here on the chest and just a little on the neck check it before and after again and yeah I think it's okay but just a little more so here's the before and after and it's okay now that we are done with the color because we don't want to work uh, that much with the color or the low frequency because as I said this portrait or this girl has a lot of freckles and we don't want to destroy them now it's time for the texture so in the texture we have to click here on the clone stamp tool because this is the way that we work in the texture so for example if you want to clean or you want to remove some things you have to click alt keyboard hold it and click to copy or to make a sample and just paint it to paste just like that as you can see we are uh, cleaning and removing whatever we don't want into this portrait for example uh, this line into the neck we want to remove that we did in the color but it's still in the texture so we have to remove it in both of the layers so here's the before and after and it's gone you can zoom in and clean whenever or whatever you think that is not looking good into your portrait and for this one I think that we are good to go so here's the before and after of everything that we've done so far. Now that uh, we are done with the frequency separation, with the color and the texture, I'm going to put the dodge burn inside the frequency separation. Click here and open the dodge burn. Click on the dodge. Turn on the black metal help layer and click B for brush. 10% opacity, 100% flow. I'm just going to paint and add some highlights into this portrait. So here's the before and after, you can zoom out and I think that it's starting to look better. Check out before and after every time when you are working because this is uh, the best way that you will retouch a portrait. Now for the burn I'm gonna add some contours here into this amazing portrait. So here we have a before and after of everything that we've done and as I said uh, we wiped just a little other freckles so I'm just gonna put some uh, freckles with the brushes so just uh, create two empty layers here and with a black brush right click I'm just gonna check them uh, freckles by Vera change a link is in the description and I think that this one uh, will be okay or maybe this one so I'm just gonna click uh, maybe once or twice until I get that 
shape of the freckles that I'm looking for. And I think that this one is okay. So I'm going to click here again on the other side of the face. And I think that this one will be enough. So we have to switch the blending mode from normal to soft light. Just like that. So here's the before and after. And as you can see, it's kind of too harsh. So we have to go to the filter blur and add some Gaussian blur. I think that 3 maybe is kind of too much. So 2.5 will be enough. So here's the before and after in the zoom out. And it's kind of looking fake. So I'm just going to double click here. And I'm going to divide the underlying layer uh, for the highlights and for the shadows. Click OK. As you can see, 100% uh, is kind of too much. So I'm going to go by 65 maybe. Create an empty layer. Uh, sorry, create a layer mask because we are going to remove some from the eyes. And for or with a general brush, soft round, I'm just going to paint them out just like that. And some on the cheeks just a little because they're kind of too much. And maybe a little on the nose because I don't want them to look that fake. So here's a before and after. Maybe just a little more under the eyes. Now check a before and after again. I think it's okay. Now click here on the other empty layer. Zoom in. And check them uh, freckles again. Because the first one was okay. But I'm going to put another one. So click again once or twice. Until you get the uh, shape that you're looking. Or that is fitting the portrait. And I think this one is okay. Now again, switch the blending mode from normal to soft light. You can click here on the previous uh, layer, right click and click here that says copy layer style because we are going to copy the layer style that we did in the other one and click here, click paste layer. As you can see, a before and after. I think it's okay, but we are going to put some blur here. So go to filter blur, Gaussian blur again. And maybe this time 2 is okay. Now check a before and after. Create a layer mask because we have to paint them out in some parts. For example, as, as we did in the previous one, in the face, in the eyes, maybe just a little on the nose. So here's the before and after. And I think that we are looking good. I'm going to put just a little more freckles on this part of the face. Now create an empty layer again with black brush. Find the freckles that you have. And maybe this one will be enough. Or maybe this one. Let me just try this. And I think that is okay. So again, switch the uh, blending mode to soft light. Go back to the layer style, copy and paste it into your portrait. And as you can see, this is kind of too little. Zoom in. So I'm going to add another empty layer again and choose this one because I think it's the best. So I'm going to make them bigger maybe or no. Maybe this one is okay. Now switch the blending mode again to the soft light. Copy the layer style. Paste the layer style. And here we have them. Again, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we are good to go. Group the layers and rename Frackles. Oops, Frackles is it. So here's the before and after. Zoom in we have the freckles and I think that they're, they're looking good but I'm gonna remove some from here from this part of the nose so here's the before and after and they are looking really good except them because uh, they're looking kind of too much so I'm gonna lower the opacity maybe 35 now check again and we are good now that we are done with consecration, some dodge and burn, and the freckles that we added, it's time to work on the makeup details. So I'm just going to click here on the darken eyebrows, darken eyelashes, click play. 
and click here on the smoky eyes and click here that says eye shadows pick a color i'm going to create uh, two layers click here on the darken eyebrows zoom in if you want to darken the eyebrows the, sh uh, the sorry this action is perfect so i'm gonna lower this one click here on the darken eyelashes if you want uh, the eyelashes to be more into the dark something like that uh, this one is okay but 30% is kind of too much, so I'm going to go by 25. Now click here on the smoky eyes. Uh, the smoky eyes does uh, some makeup shadows, as you can see. Let me just paint it and see a before and after. It's pretty amazing, but uh, kind of too much, the 45. So I'm going to go by 20 maybe. And check a before and after every time that you're working. Now click here that says eyeshadow pick a color. So we are going to paint some uh, makeup around the eyes. So I think that this color is kind of okay, the pink one. And you have to paint around the eyes just like that. This one is great for the makeup artist. So if you're a makeup artist and you're watching this video tutorial, uh, these actions are pretty good for you. So here's a before and after. And it's kind of too much, so I'm going to go by 25 maybe. And you can even put whatever color that you want. For example, if you want to put a green color, you have to paint it just like that. And you will create some uh, makeup colors. So I think that we are good with this one right now. And we will delete this because it was just to show you what you can do. Now I'll click here that says eyeshadow pop. Click play. Zoom in and just paint over the eyeshadow makeup. Now check a before and after. And uh, reduce the opacity. Now before and after of everything. Zoom in because I'm going to put some uh, ice retouch here. Click play. Click continue. Click OK. Wait until it's done. And click on remove veins with a white brush and 100% opacity. I'm just gonna play, uh, I'm just gonna paint, sorry, into the white of the eyes. This is to remove the veins, so 100% is too much and 50% will be okay. Now click on the brightening. This one is for the white of the eyes too. Now click on the eyeball brightening and just paint inside of them. Make sure to do that process in both of the eyes. Reduce it, uh, the opacity, because it's kind of too much. And the iris contour is great for the contours. So here's before and after of the eyes retouch. And I think that is kind of too much as a group, so I'm gonna go by 75 maybe. Now check a before and after of entire process, and I think that we are good to go. Now that we are done uh, with the retouch and makeup details, it's time to put some sharpen, basic contrast, and face contour. But before we do that, make sure to go here to the remove veins and uh, the blur layer renamed. You have to click blur maybe one two three because it will interfere with the sharpen so click here on sharpen basic contrast and face contour and click play click continue click ok wait until it's done and here we have the sharpen which is in the black layer mask so we have to switch into the white by control and i now zoom in and check a before and after and i think that is looking okay now click here on the basic contrast, uh, which is kind of too much, so I'm going to go by 50%. Now click here on the face contour. And as you can see, into the highlights, it's kind of too much. So I have to double click here, and this one is for the highlights. This one is for the midtones, and this one is for the shadows. So we are going to play with the highlights just a little. Maybe with the midtones, why not? So here's a before and after and reduce just a little. Now you can zoom out and check a before and after of everything that we've done so far 
into this portrait. Now you have to double, uh, sorry, you have to make another copy of the background. Click Shift Keyboard and hold it. Click here and group from layers, rename Retouch. Reason why I'm doing this, uh, right click, merge layers, merge group, sorry, is because that I'm going to uh, put some color weight into this portrait. So we have to click Control and A and Control C to copy, go to File, New, and create another window because uh, we are going to put some color grade into this portrait and the color grades uh, work fine uh, when we only have uh, like a single layer that is background so make sure that when you're using my color grades you do this uh, process so I'm gonna check them one by one until I find my best color grade settings and I think that A1 and A11 is okay so just drag and drop this into the original file Go back and play the A11. So drag and drop this into the original file too. And here we have two color grade groups. So here's the A1, which is I'm gonna reduce it by 50%. And here we have the A11. And this one I'm going to reduce it by 25. Now check it before and after again. And I think that we are looking really good. Zoom in. And as you can see, this portrait is original. And we didn't uh, re ruin the texture, sorry. And it remained the originality of itself. So, as you can see, a before and after, which is really great. So, we are going to put the black and white help player here, which we'll uh, see into the black and white, what we've done so far into this amazing portrait. So well, that's it for today guys, I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial, please don't forget to check all the links down in the description because as I said you will find the retouching and color grade actions that we used in this uh, video tutorial. Also for the raw file, as I said in the beginning, you have to contact the photographer because I bought this uh, portrait from him. Leave some comments down below, let me know if I am understandable or not and see you guys in the next one, peace.